Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. In today's video, I thought it would be a fun experiment to get the new Pop Shell extension running in Ubuntu 20.04. Pop Shell is a feature of the new Pop OS that's coming out later this year, actually not that long from now. And this feature basically gives you a tiling window manager equivalent in GNOME, which is pretty sweet. Now even though this is technically a Pop OS feature, they decided to make it a GNOME extension that other people can enjoy even if you're not running Pop! OS, which I thought was really cool because, you know, they didn't have to do that, but they decided to make it an extension so everyone can enjoy it, and that's awesome. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have a fresh installation of Ubuntu 20.04 right here. Now, as of the time I'm recording this, Ubuntu 20.04 is still beta. It isn't out yet. So I really don't know what's going to happen, but I thought I would just go ahead and install it here and just see how it goes. Now, before we get started, I do want to mention a few quick things. Now, first of all, the format of my videos is going to temporarily change. You know, as of the time I'm recording this, we are in lockdown mode, you know, with the whole pandemic and everything. I'm not here to talk about that, though. I just want to mention why you're not seeing me. I know, big deal, right? But... I look like a caveman. I think a lot of people do. Nobody's cutting their hair or anything like that. So I'm actually recording in a temporary place. So if the audio quality isn't as good or is weird or strange, well, that's the reason. As soon as everything blows over and everything is back to normal, I hope to have the channel back to normal as well. And also another thing that I want to mention is that my son and I have started another YouTube channel that we do for fun. There's no particular cadence. We do the videos as often as we can. It's called Cross Generation Gaming. Definitely check it out. It's where I play a game from my childhood and get his reactions nowadays, and it's just fun. So go ahead and check that out. And anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's get the Pop Shell extension running in Ubuntu 20.04. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal. Go ahead and blow this up for you guys. And the first thing I'm going to do is use git to clone the git repository for this extension. I haven't even checked yet if git is installed by default, so let's see. Which git? And it's not, so glad I checked. So what I'm going to do is sudo apt update. Then I'll do and and sudo apt install git. And then enter. Enter again. And there we go. So now I have git on my system. So next I'm going to clone the repository. So git clone. Then I'll paste in the URL and here it is right here. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. But I will have a link in the description below the video that will have the commands or at least a link to the page that will have the commands. So if you need to copy and paste, you can go ahead and check out that article down below, but I'll press enter. And that was extremely quick. I didn't even have to edit the video or fast forward it. Cool. Now, if I list my storage, we have this folder right here, which I assume should be the one and uh, the date and time matches up here. So that should be fine. So I'll just go into that directory and then list the storage. So here we have a list of files and hopefully this will result in a successful installation. But my understanding from the GitHub page is that we need to run this. So we need to run sh rebuild.sh. Let's see if this works. And it's giving us an error. So in my case, it basically wants us to install node TypeScript. So let's go ahead and do that. And what's fun is you guys are actually seeing the process that I go through to install something from source, which is basically just keep running it over and over again until it stops complaining. And, you know, that was one error. So what we're going to do is go ahead and run that again. Let's see what happens. All right, so actually I think it's running right now. And I noticed that we have this icon right here since it was kind of just 
hanging here in the terminal, I kind of thought, well, you know, maybe it uh, is it done yet, but it looks like it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click this here. And tile windows, I'm going to enable that right here. And it looks like it's actually working. So let's play around with it. I'm going to open up a file manager here. And I'll open up LibreOffice. I'm just randomly opening up apps here. Let's see what happens. So here I am with a fresh desktop. And I was playing around with the pop shell a little bit. And, you know, I managed to crash my entire GNOME session. But again, Ubuntu 2004 is not final yet. And neither is the extension. So I don't hold accountable either one. You know, I'm basically running beta software on a beta distribution. Let's go ahead and open a window and just see what this looks like. So I'll open a file manager window here. And you can see that it is on the entire desktop right now. It has taken up the entire screen. Now one thing I'll mention too is that the extension kind of seemed to act a little wonky until after I restarted. So maybe it's a good thing that my system locked up and forced me to restart. And that's probably preferable anyway. So we have a window open. It's, it's taken up the entire screen. We have an orange highlight around the screen or around this window that is there to show you which one is the active window. Now by default that is disabled. So um, right here where it shows it says show active hint that was disabled by default. And I went ahead and turned that on. So that's how we have that orange highlight there. So let me go ahead and open a new window for example. And you can see a new window. It's going to tile it to the other side here. And I can actually do a new window from this menu a little bit easier. So now we have it here. And we have another one. So I'm going to go ahead and start closing these down here. I don't need that many. And now we're back down to one. So what happens if I open a web browser? Now the web browser is on the right hand side. That's pretty cool. And what's also cool is we get an application launcher. If I hold the super key and press the forward slash, then we get this application launcher right here, which will allow me to basically launch an application without having having to go here to activities and then, you know, show applications. Um, you know, that's fine and that works, but that's too many steps. I almost always install an application launcher on GNOME. I use uLauncher. So to see something like this built into PopShell is actually pretty cool because that's one less thing that I would have to install. So if I wanted to launch, let's just say Writer, for example, I could just start typing some kind of keyword here. It'll narrow down the list. And sure enough, here it is. I can just hit the down arrow, press Enter. And now I have LibreOffice opened up there. So close that. And you can see that it's very intelligent. As I open and close things, it changes how things are basically tiled. And I'll go ahead and open up a new app here. Let's just open up a file manager window again. And here it's tiled. So, you know, that's great and all. But what if I wanted a floating window? How would I do that? For that, I could do Super G. And as you can see, I can now move this around. I can move it freely. It, it doesn't re-situate the windows or reorientate anything. It's just floating. And then Super G again puts it back, which is pretty cool. And there's all kinds of cool features with this. I'm just scratching the surface. You're literally seeing me trying this out for the very first time. This is the first time I've ever used this extension. And so far, I really do like it. Now, I had a few rough edges. And I don't really have any reason to believe that it's the extension that was the problem. Because again, Ubuntu 2004 is beta as of the time I'm recording this. But anyway, ever since I rebooted my laptop, this extension has been extremely stable. So maybe it was just some kind of edge case that I had to restart. And I really like this. I think that this is honestly something that I will definitely use, especially considering I do have one of those ultra wide monitors. And I feel like if you have a monitor like that, that's where you're going to see the maximum benefit of this extension because it allows you to basically squeeze many more applications in the same amount of real estate and also allows you to manage your windows a lot smarter too, which is the entire point of a tiling window manager in general. And to see this feature in GNOME, I think this is going to be amazing. I could really see a lot of people using this, even people that don't use Pop! OS. 
I think this extension is going to be huge. So I like it so far. I'll give you guys more thoughts on this extension when I do review the new version of Pop! OS when that comes out. I may even install this on the final version of Ubuntu 2004 as well. I guess we'll see, but I hope that was interesting for you guys. Check out this extension. Now it does require GNOME 3.36. So if you are running on an older Ubuntu or older distribution, this will not work. So make sure you check out if you're running on GNOME 3.36 before you start installing this. Now since Ubuntu 2004 comes with that, we're fine. But I'll leave it up to you guys to experiment. Now, of course, experiment at your own risk. This is a beta extension, but I think it's a lot of fun. So anyway, I hope that was helpful for you guys. I have more videos coming up very soon. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Make sure you click that like button because it lets YouTube know that you want to see Linux content just like this. And then I'll see you in the next video.